Hi everyone and welcome to another video. So today I have decided I'm going to dye my hair. I'm sick of the blonde. Like it's just making me mad. Every time I look in the mirror I'm just like I just want to pull my hair out because it is annoying me that much. Like when I got it done the first time I loved it so much. It just was a really nice colour but the second time that I got it done I just I'm not feeling the colour so much and it's really getting me down looking at my hair because I just hate it right now. So I have decided I'm going to box dye it because I cannot afford to go to a hairdresser's and then they mess it up again. So I was like, I'll just do it all one colour. So this is the Garnier Olia, Olia? Permanent colour and it is in iced chocolate. So it's a nice like dark chocolatey brown. And I'm hoping that it's not too hard to do. I'm just gonna follow the instructions and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is what it comes with. So it's got a silicone free aftercare, after color care, which is probably like a conditioner, I'm guessing, something like that. And then we've got a color cream. So that probably goes into there and you shake it up and then you put it in your hair. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm gonna read the instructions. Also comes with some gloves, which I probably won't use because I hate these gloves. I'll get my um, latex ones out of under my sink. Like, they're just very flimsy and they fall off. Actually, these ones don't look as bad as the usual ones you get. But still, I think I prefer the other ones that I have in my cupboard. I was watching Brad Mondo yesterday about colouring your hair at home and he just does not recommend box dyes, but I can't afford anything else right now. And I'm just like, why not? Let's just do it. Why not? Um, he said, don't wash your hair. So I haven't washed my hair. Um, I have big knots in my hair. So get all the tangles out and section it into four. Me comb. I'm really not good at sectioning. Like he says the application is the most important part, but I'm so bad at sectioning. Like obviously you can't see the back of your own head. So yeah so this is one side i should probably change into a t-shirt that i don't care about as well one side and then on this side i'm going to like he says to do it like mm, yeah i'll just do what he says okay otherwise it will just turn out bad i'm guessing um like I'm going to do the back first and then the front and then my scalp because the scalp apparently develops more and then you end up with a very uneven colour. I feel like I know everything about hairdressing now because I've watched Brad Mondo. <laughs> anyway, so I think I'm going to start with this section. So I'm going to leave that out. I'm going to change it to a t-shirt and then I'll be back to mix it up. Just changed into my, this is my too tight to function t-shirt don't really wear this one very much anymore it's from Shein. i do still love it like i wear it underneath jackets and stuff when it's cooler but it hasn't been that cool so i don't wear it that much so that is the i have no idea i'm just gonna do it i don't even care anymore open the color cream tube and remove the plastic no, ring and then close it okay i've taken those the plastic ring um, taking that off now I'm gonna push this in and it will like pop it open because it's sealed and then open again put the entire contents into the applicator bottle so that's all gonna go in there there we go put this lid back on close the lid on the applicator bottle and give it a shake Close the lid on the applicator bottle and shake vigorously. La 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 la, I've done that. Uh, twist off the tip and immediately after mixing, avoid the bottle bursting and damage the product. Oh, okay. So, without further ado, start applying. Got some gloves. Also, had some chocolate. No! I've got some wipes just in case. Um, let's go. I'm gonna start towel over my lap just in case I drip any. I don't want my jeans to be go to be ruined. Anyway, 
I'm gonna brush through. Also got a comb, which I don't know if this is too thick of a comb, so I've got another comb as well. Let's go, let's just do it. So to the ends and the middle, so I'm just gonna do it like this because I feel like if I did it like this, it would just drop everywhere. It's not that bad. Um, I should have done that properly, shouldn't I? Let's do it. Hello, you're on my speaker right now because I'm dying my hair. I have finished applying it to my hair. I have wiped around my neck. Oh, forgot my ears. We don't want brown ears now, do we? Um, I am going to set a timer for 20, what? How long? 20 minutes. And then I will be back um, to wash it out. And then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all dried and styled, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I hope I didn't miss any parts. Um, but yeah. So, this is my hair after I washed it, straightened it, everything. Ooh, it um, basically, it's still a bit blonde <laughs> on this side. I don't know about that. Can we turn around so you can see? And then this side seems to have taken a lot better. I don't know why, maybe because I did this side first and then this side last. But I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to redo it, but not today because I don't have any more dye. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for like a darker colour because it's kind of like a darker look, but we will see. I'm gonna leave it like this for now because it's not that bad. Like it is still like it looks okay. I don't know, <laughs> but I want it, I want it darker. But yeah, that was me dyeing my hair today. But I will continue this video so that you can see the end result of what I do and how it turns out. So it is round two. So my hair I haven't washed it since I last dyed it, which was 
not yesterday but the day before so this is what it's looking like it is very like light brownie blonde which i'm not feeling it still so i went out today to just buy bleach <laughs> ended up going to Superdrug and spending more money so I also got some collection last imperfection um loose powder which I don't know where mine has gone so I thought I'd pick up some more and I also got some a cuticle clippers and a cuticle pusher because my nails need some love and I'm gonna do that in a while <laughs> and I also got some nail varnish as well because it's a beautiful colour enough of that i am going to now dye my hair again so this is what i'm going to use this time it is knight and wilson pure plex bond constructing color cream so it sounds like a good one i liked the box of it it's different it is in dark brown at number four um yeah it's supposed to be good for your hair so let's see how this goes um i don't know whether it will color over my current dye that I have in there but we'll see so we've got this one looks a little bit more complicated let me just clear my desk a little bit instructions at the ready I'm not gonna go through the whole thing this time I'm just gonna film me putting it on a little bit and then I'm going to leave it because I think it's gonna be a little bit boring watching me do that again uh, so basically it's exactly the same as last time I'm gonna change my t-shirt again because I don't want to get it on this t-shirt Okay, I'm back in this t-shirt that I wore last time. I'm going to brush my hair, just get it all ready so that the dye is ready to go in there. Let's do it in the same way as last time. Okay, so we're ready to do the dye. I'm going to... Open this, open this, pop this, I feel like professional now, and then just pour that into there. That stinks, that is so bad, disgusting. And then shake, shake, shake. I'm actually gonna watch um, Guardians of the Galaxy while I do this, which is a bit stupid because I need my glasses. I haven't got my contacts in today. And this towel that I used last time has got dye on it anyway, so I'm going to put that over my lap because I dropped loads on my lap last time. Whoopsie. Let's do this. I need gloves. I can't be bothered to go get my other gloves this time. Too much effort. These are like the crappy, crappy, crappy ones as well, which is going to be fun. Oh, well. Well, we go. We will. We move. We move. Let's do it. already got some of my towel. This stinks so bad, it literally burns my nostrils. I really hope that this doesn't turn my hair a funny colour. Really hope so. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with this and I will see you when it's all done. So the dyes in my hair, I'm just using baby wipes to remove any um, bits from around my face. So like I had some here, if you can see it's like gone a little bit dark, but that will rub off eventually anyway. But I'm just trying to clean up my skin because I don't want it to be too dyed. Like on my ear, I don't know if you can see here, but it's gotten on to all the little bits but I think it's gonna die like you know some tiny tiny hairs on your ears um it's gonna dye them black like dark brown so I'm trying to remove all of that so my hairs that I mean my ears don't look hairy <laughs> which they kind of do already like this one looks really bad uh I've got really hairy ears I had no idea look at that can you see 
Oh well, never mind. It is what it is. Hopefully that will just wash off. Otherwise, I might have to wax my ears. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I don't want hairy ears. Oh my days. That look, literally looks like a like, werewolf ears. <gasps> I didn't know ears were that hairy. How weird is that? I've got some there. I don't even know. Like, I'm going to be random. Randomly dark spotted all over because of this dye. Now, I have to leave it on for 50 minutes um well i'm gonna leave it on for 50 minutes it says like 45 minutes or whatever but i'm gonna leave it on for the maximum time because um i just want it to work i really really just want it to be really dark brown and yeah i'm just gonna clean up all of the mess read the instructions so i know what i have to do when i need to when it comes to washing my hair and then carry on watching guardians of the galaxy which i watched a tiny bit of just like the first five minutes because then I had to concentrate on my hair, so now I can. Um, I'm gonna put a plastic bag on my head and wash this. So my hair is just been washed. I just washed the dye out and I shampooed it and it looks so dark so far, but I'm just like, cannot wait to see the final results when it's completely dry and straight because that's how I normally wear my hair, it's just straight because it's just easier. Um, but we still have ways to go before that so I'm going to just towel dry my hair and then use this bond constructing treatment which came with the packet the packet dye so I'm just using this same towel to dry my hair a little bit just like the parts that don't have dye on um, because it says to towel dry your hair and then um, put it on oh my gosh my hair it literally looks black right now don't know if it's gonna be this dark it looks black i don't i don't know if i don't i like i i don't know if i like it do i like it yes i kind of love it i kind of do like imagine if it's all black anyway um towel drying i don't think i'll ever go blonde again because i just think that it makes my hair look really unhealthy and the darker colour that I had in the last few days has been really nice and I've just like enjoyed looking at my hair. So this is quite, oh, it smells delicious unlike the flipping hair dye, oh the hair dye. I don't know what it was, it smelled so bad, like the other one that I used wasn't that bad but this one stunk really bad. I'm going to get it all into one area of this and then just squeeze it all out. Right, let's see. Does it say to? Okay, it says to apply it all over and massage in. Oh, it feels like it's a very conditioning, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb to brush through it because on the packet it does say to brush through it. I mean, on the instructions it does say to brush through. Um, my hair is literally going to fall out. I feel like my hair is just going to fall out. Look at this. Oh my god. Ew. Okay. All part of the journey. Okay, so I think that is all in my hair nicely and now I'm literally just going to pin it up and then just watch um, some more of Guardians of the Galaxy and then wash it out after 15 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. So this is my hair so far. I have washed it put the bond treatment in and um, conditioned it. it smells delicious I really like how the color is looking so far it's a bit a little bit dry um, I've let it air dry a little bit but yeah I'm going to fully dry it and then I'll show you the end result of it in a bit the kids will probably be back by then so yeah so 
so far so good i love it i love it um i always want to do like the natural curls because i do have like a bit of a curl to my hair like a wave more like a wave not a curl um but they never come out like they're always they always come out frizzy so i don't know i'm just gonna do the straightening thing again i have just finished straightening straining my hair this is the final color i am very happy with it i can still see a few like lighter bits in there at certain angles the kids are back now <laughs> but overall the color of it is exactly what i was going for it's it's actually a little bit darker than what i was going for but i feel like it will wash out like i've got all these little bits of like regrowth here and it just annoys me look at that but anyway this is the final color of my hair i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye oh yeah that's right this is soft life oh yeah that's right oh yeah this is soft life